And that's a memo. Now, for the top story at night, one of the Republican leaders in the House is New York Congressman Peter King, who will chair the House Homeland Security Committee. Mr. King is on record saying he will go after President Obama's border policies, among other things. He joins us now from Washington. First of all, Congressman, do you get my point about repealing Obamacare? It's not going to happen. Well, Bill, I think it's important that we take this first step, because if anything was a metaphor for what was wrong with the Obama administration in the first term, it was health care. This is uh, government overreach, and I do think it's tied to the economy. The American people see it as being tied to the economy. And if we don't uh, take this vote, if we don't lay out where we stand on this and see who's for it and who's against it, then we will have failed in our obligation to the American people. So you, I don't, agree think, with you. you don't think there's going to be a backlash of people going, why are you wasting our time? This is not going to happen. It's going to take a lot of time. Mm -hmm. It's going to cause a lot of bad feeling between Republicans and Democrats. There's no question. You don't think the Republican Party is saying, listen, just repeal the stuff that's egregious, keep the good stuff and concentrate on the economy. No, because, Bill, I think the American people want to see that we are going to keep our commitment. You're talking about a two or three or four day debate at the most. The vote will be held before the president's State of the Union in late January. And I think that, can, that debate in itself is going to lay out an agenda for the rest of the Congress. So I think this is a, a fight worth having. It's a debate worth having. And I think it's going to frame the national debate for the next two years. But I agree with you to this extent. Republicans have to conduct an intelligent debate. We have to show we're not just against President Obama and everything he does. You've got to put forth and, better stuff. You, you absolutely, absolutely have to put yeah. through. Uh, look, absolutely. all right. So you agree. You say that it's a symbolic debate, but the symbolism is necessary to advance the conversation down the road to let the American people know where you see. See, I don't want the uh, provision in Obamacare repeal that says you can throw off anybody you want. Insurance companies can throw off anybody you want once they get sick. I want that to stay, don't you? Yeah, and the Republicans from the start, going back to when this first came up uh, two years ago, said that we certainly supported coverage of pre-existing conditions. We also did not want people thrown off. We wanted people to be able to take their insurance from one job to another, right. portability. But again, I think we have to clear the slate and then show how we're going to replace it step by step. Right. But there is a burden on us. And I think, by the way, that people like John Boehner and Fred Upton are really up to the task. OK, but that's a partisan statement. I mean, I'm more interested in what the, uh, the repercussions no, saying, on the economy yeah. and no. I want the economy to get fixed uh, first. But I, I, I take your point. All right. Now, no, what you, I, mean is, Bill, I think they can conduct it in an intelligent way is what I mean. And well, frame we'll the see. debate for the next we'll year. Yeah. We'll see. All right. Now, you you got big job now. All right. House chairman on Homeland Security. Mm -hmm. um, the border is one of your main focuses. And as you know, the factor has been all over the border for the past 11 years. Um, you, do you really believe that Barack Obama has failed in securing the border? Do you believe he has failed? He does not have the sense of urgency, and he could have done a much better job. And let me emphasize that the work I do on the border, I would also do in conjunction with Lamar Smith, who's chairman of the House Judiciary Committee. We have the same approach on this. Yes, Bill, there's been a lack of urgency. I'll give you an example. There was a major... Uh, project is called SBI Net, which would have set up radar and cameras and sensors all along the border. Last year, because of some overruns and problems with the program, the Obama uh, administration suspended it. Fine. That was a legitimate call by then. But they've done nothing, nothing in the years since then. This is a program which is considered absolutely essential. And yet, uh, once there were problems with it, they put it to the side and have done nothing whatsoever. But, but all, God, you know. all reports from down there say that, that, that the amount of illegal aliens has been cut drastically. Drug dealing, we're not quite sure. Uh, the seizures have been lower. Um, so can the president claim that, look, I have, I have made progress there because there are fewer illegals crossing, fewer drugs crossing. Can he legitimately claim to have made some progress? He can, sure. I would say, yes, he's made some progress, but not enough, and he could be doing more. For instance, uh, one of the reasons why there's uh, less uh, immigration, illegal immigration, is because of the economy in our country. Yeah, and absolutely. There's no doubt about that. it. That's There's no doubt of, about that. And also, I think the fact that he's cut back almost entirely on workplace enforcement, as far as workplace raids, if you will, I think so long as illegal immigrants, by the way, these are good people. I'm not denouncing them. I'm just saying for the survival of our country, the security of our country, we have to have control of the border. Right, so you, well, you, so you you you're going to call, call for a bigger National Guard presence down there? That's, that's what I think could really firm things up quickly. Yeah, in fact, the troops the president sent in right before the election, I think, was half the number that were requested by the, uh, the, the uh, border state governors. Right. Yeah. 
So, uh, no, he definitely uh, cut back on that or did not send in enough. And also, some of them were also, uh, already being withdrawn. So I, I don't think that was a serious effort as far as the National Guard. Right. I think the National Guard can have a real impact. Yes. So, all right. So you and I agree that the National Guard should be put down there in greater numbers. Now, finally, uh, you're going to hold hearings on Muslim fundamentalism, radicalism in right. the United States. And the liberal press is calling you, what, a racist, anti-Muslim, Muslim phobia guy, all of that. What do you want to accomplish with the hearings in your committee about Muslims? Well, first of all, so long as the New York Times continues to attack me, I will know I'm doing the right thing. I mean, that is a left-wing reg, and I have absolutely no, to me, they have no credibility at all. What do I want to do? Bill, there's a real issue. They, uh, Al-Qaeda has realized it's very difficult for them to come in from the outside. What they are doing is recruiting Muslims in this country or under the radar screen. People are living here legally. That's what happened with the subway bomber in New York, with Major Hassan at Fort Hood, with the Times Square bomber last May. These are people living in the Muslim community. And I have said, and I have spoken to many people in law enforcement over the years, that for whatever reason, Muslim leaders are not doing enough to cooperate with law enforcement. There's actually been instances of imams instructing the people in their mosques not to cooperate with law enforcement on major investigations. So I want to see what the extent of the radicalization is and the extent of Muslim cooperation, because the overwhelming majority of Muslims are good, good All right, Americans. So you're going to try to shed light on what, though, specifically? What do you want the American people to know they don't already know? Well, the extent to which the uh, local community is being radicalized from abroad and the extent to which the Muslim leadership is not quite cooperating Are you going to name names? Are you going to say Imam Raouf or whoever isn't uh, cooperating with us or doing bad things? You're going to name those names? We're going to have expert witnesses and we'll do what we have to do. The hearings will probably be held sometime around mid-February. All right. Well, that's going to be interesting. Hey, Congressman, Happy New Year to you. Thanks for your time so you this too. evening. Next on the Thank rundown, you a Democratic Congresswoman will reply.